We are celebrating Sharon because she has always found time off screen to be a caring fighter for the causes she believes in, which is why she has been honored with many awards, including the Nobel Peace Summit Award, the Harvard Humanitarian Award, the Human Rights Campaign Humanitarian Award, and an Einstein Spirit of Achievement Award. Sharon, what makes you a shining star to me is not just your talent, your beauty, and your grace, but your resilience, no matter what life throws at your way. Your way. Thank you for rising up time and time again and inspiring all of us by your radiant example, and yes, your courage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sharon Stone, the amazing Sharon Stone. In all of the variety of medical fundraising that I have done over all of the years, it all comes down to science and scientific research, no matter what some politicians may be saying. When you're looking a clinical trial in the face, this is what happens. Half of the people on the clinical trial get the medicine and half get a placebo. And when you're going into that trial, you know that. And when you're going into that trial, you know this is the last ditch effort for me. This might work, it might not. I might get the placebo, it might not. This is my last shot, I'm gonna give it a try. And do you know why women give this a try? because they're setting a stage for the women that come after them. That's courage. They were sure that I couldn't possibly have that tumor without it being cancer. It wasn't. But I went into the hospital saying, if you open me up and it's cancer, Please take both my breasts, because I am not a person defined by my breasts. And you know, that might seem funny coming from me since you've all seen them. <laughs> but I want to tell you something else. You've seen them since the surgery and you don't know it. So don't ever feel compelled not to get a mammogram, not to get a blood test, not to get surgery, because it doesn't matter. I'm standing here telling you I had one and a half and more tissue of my breast removed, and none of you knew it. You are not alone in this fight. We've got your back. We've been there, we've done that, and we've walked away with our friends intact. Some of us have walked away without our friends, our moms, our sisters, our daughters, our wives. <laughs> I can tell you, my kids' godparents died from the BRCA gene. I lost a lot of friends to this. I don't want to lose any more.